the story's over. At least for me it is. I've laid out all the details. I've told you about the temptations we faced and the jobs we pulled and how each of my friends passed away, murdered, disappeared. I'm a sole survivor. Florida is a dead man's paradise. It's filled with lost souls who are unable or unwilling to walk toward the light. It's almost nine o'clock, right? I'm here at the bank. Yeah, I got a few things to do. No, the genealogy lady hasn't ever gotten back in touch with me. I've spoken to her a few times online, texting back and forth, things like that. I've, yes, I've, I've sent her pictures and uh, I've uh, written you know, letters. So she, she's gotten, you know, she knows the case. Right. Here's what she does. She investigates. So I paint another picture. One. And another one. Life becomes more about painting the picture than it is about selling the picture. You're so close, you can't even see the entire picture. Just these numbers that represent the amount of poisons coursing through your bloodstream. You try to hold it back. You give yourself shots and gag on apple cider vinegar. But still the numbers climb higher and higher until you're walking around like a zombie. They get too low and you go running for something sweet. Try and bring it back up. You don't know what the balance is. You just try to keep it low try to keep it from killing you but your heart you know your heart isn't going to take it for much longer why don't you keep plugging away trying to see the whole picture wondering if your liver's going to hold out and craving sweets and things you don't need steak dinners vegetables all the good stuff and still it climbs higher and higher and through it all you tell yourself I'm not dead yet Here's what she does. She investigates, I believe, four generations. She starts out going back four generations. And when you meet her for the first time, you bring everything you've got, all your family group sheets, all your genealogy that you may all, all already have done. She checks it out, makes sure there aren't any mistakes, makes sure dates are right, things like that. But then she also sets you up with a DNA test. Yeah, like 23 and me, that kind of thing. 
and that gives her an even broader view of your family history, right? Also, genetic makeup, things like that, right? And and so then you've got two two things. The last thing she does, and I've never heard of anybody doing this before, she investigates for paranormal activity, right? Now, I'm not interested in whether my grandfather's roaming around as a ghost somewhere, but I have three friends that have disappeared that have fallen off the face of the earth. Right. And, you know, this is going to sound weird. It's going to sound like something out of some kind of comedy, but I think the only way to find out whether they're actually dead or not is to find out whether there's yeah, whether there's ghosts riding around somewhere something out of some kind of comedy but I think the only way to find out whether they're actually dead or not is to find out whether there's yeah whether there's ghosts riding around somewhere <laughs>